Should we get these little misses dressed then? Yeah. Yeah. yeah! The bridesmaids' dresses may be spot on, but the frocks for the flower girls aren't. Um, could you put your arms down? You can see it's just, it's way too low. It's just way, way, way too big. I could get two of her in there. It needs to be changed. It's ridiculous. You can't possibly wear that. Four, two and a half in a minute. I haven't even done my dress. Oh, stop it. Katie is not impressed. It's not rocket science just to pick up a kid and take her to a fucking shop. Marvin is summoned to sort out the problem. Where is it? Too big, yeah? Too big. Take her with you so you can try it on her. Take her with me? Yeah. No. So you can try the dress, yeah. Because you're going to have to drop the dress oh, back. Yeah, um, right, then, yeah, I suppose so. Yeah? Oh, It'd just be easier, because if you bring back another dress and that don't fit, you're going to have to go back again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you All see right. what I mean? All right, cool. Half an hour later, has he done the one thing he was asked to do? I didn't get to try it on, you know. You didn't? Yeah, I didn't have no time. Are you serious? Yeah. Let's hope it fits then, yeah, otherwise you'll be going back. Oh, God. It's still too big. Yeah. I'm going to have to pin it or something. Why didn't he try it on her? Because he said he didn't have time. He did have time. It takes two seconds. What are we going to do? It's too late. Why didn't he try it on her? I don't get that. Well, no, you she's stupid. Right? Be fine. She's not going to be fine. The dress looks ridiculous. The dress looks ridiculous. And if I'm not going to change it, I'm going to change it. I'm going to go and change it myself. You can. I'm going to go and change it myself. My daughter's not walking down the aisle dressed like a fool, straight up. Bridesmaid Genova takes matters into her own hands. Are you right? Look, never send a man to do a woman's job. <laughs> they always get it wrong. The wedding is due to start at three, but in the Dawkins household, old habits die hard. I really didn't want to be late to my wedding, but I'm looking at it right now. It's a possibility. It's now three o'clock, but the dress drama has made Katie late for her own wedding. Hurry up, Mummy! I think it's about three o'clock. Yeah, yeah, five past three. Five past three, right, so we're now... Officially late. Can someone hold the back of my dress, please, with me? Oh, my dear God. Let's see me set the bus. Oh, my God. That is so amazing. Everyone got their Oyster card? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. He went all out, didn't he? I love it. I think it's amazing. I really do. I'm so excited as well. I'm getting married. Oh, my God. It's 3.30, and as Katie predicted, Darnell is now late for his own wedding. It's usually the bride what usually arrives a little bit late. There's a good chance Katie will get to the church before him. Finally, the man everyone has been waiting for. Meanwhile, the bride still has no idea where she's tying the knot. Guess where we're going? Becca Bingo! No. <laughs> That's, not even half of That's not even funny, your idea. I'm confused. I'm um, oh, beyond. I'm confused. Oh, look, I can see. Oh, there's a church right there. There's a church there. <laughs> oh, no, I'm wearing the church so badly as well. Yeah. This is it. Oh, my God. Oh, wow. Oh, my God, look at them all. Oh. 